Nikki Masu's ready. Rainy day to complete the lineup. 14.50. They all set. And they're off. They are fired away. Galaxy Gold got a messy start. Pinchby landed running. Brainstorm is outside of it. Shah Dul is handy. Atso's Ruby loses position at the rail as Rainy Day also rushes up the Sisterhood with four kilos off the back now. Goes and finds the lead at the corner turn. So the Sisterhood guards them along. Second place is Rainy Day. Then comes Shah Dul. Brainstorm further back and Let's Play is three deep and racing four lengths off the leader. Then came Pinchby. Sail the asses in the yellow body. It's giving the leader about six lengths start. Iki Masu's midfield then a length back to catch a thief. Then we go further back and running to Velvet finish out after them. Atso's Ruby is dropped towards the rear. Galaxy Gold in the red sleeves. Ebony Silver one off the rail and Tormentress is the trailer. Into the strip they come. The Sisterhood galloped away by three. Second place is Rainy Day. Then comes Let's Play who's improved to run in third but has been going the longest route. Brainstorm is back at the fence in fourth. Pinchby just feels the squeeze. So too does Sail the Arse in the yellow body. It's got seven lengths to make up. Iki Masu's and the Blues in between them. As they now hit the final 400 meters and the Sisterhood has now had the lead cut down down to a length as Rainy Day moves forward and just about takes over the lead. Let's plays in the yellow cap and it's right alongside of Rainy Day. Then comes Brainstorm further back to Pinchby who's also starting to wear them down in the yellow sleeves and cap but Rainy Day has got a length and a half to spare. Pinchby is now back in second. Let's play is boxing away. Rainy Day still hangs tough by two lengths and won't come under pressure as they get down to the wire. Rainy Day is going to repel all challenges. Second place goes to Iki Masu. Then came Brainstorm and fourth to Let's Play. The three-year-old daughter of Stronghold number 12, Rainy Day, comes through. Only having her second attempt at the track today will crack her maiden for trainer Sean Terry. A superb ride here by jockey Samanga Kamalu. He had one of the widest of draws to overcome. Not easy over the 1450 Samanga, but she bounced out today. I know last time she lost a little bit of ground, and that's what I was a little bit worried about from that draw. But she showed good improvement from that first run. Yes, you know, uh, the first run, they can always land next time. Um, today she was uh, actually more matured, she felt more matured and uh, she felt like she know more what she's doing. Uh, went in the gates, went in last, it gave us a bit of time, actually uh, less time for her to actually sit and uh, think around. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the those gate popped, I popped her out and uh, um, I see uh, uh, what the claim I was wanted to go to the front and I said that let me just give him the chance because uh, my feeling I would like her to settle and run on. So. Um, it, it just helped me work out in, in the way that uh, Mr. Terry and I planned and uh, going around about the 600 and I could feel she's still there, just mm -hmm. ask her she's there and uh, 400 hours to just uh, follow that horse through and then uh, didn't let it to do too much, you know, save her a little as much as possible. And uh, when I asked her, there was plenty in there, just pushed her all the way through confidently and just uh, she, she, she gained more and more and I think uh, she won't stop from here. Absolutely. I mean, the manner in what she won today, because you could see a lot of those fillies were under pressure around you when you were still sitting. I think she's certainly going to go on. Distance-wise, she may even get a bit further. Yeah, you know, she settles and uh, it's just that today we had to over overcome the draw. That's why we had to bounce her. Uh, she can settle if we get a good draw by 18. I'll leave that to Mr. Terry. He'll do the planning and, uh, yeah, she should go over further. Well done to Mr. Fanny Kek. Thank you again. And uh, to Mr. Terry for the hard work and the guys at Stable that, that do the behind-the-scenes job. Well done to them too. Congratulations. Thank you and uh, well done to my new sponsor, uh, uh, Volta Kranz. Uh, Estate one. Are we going to get some freebies? Uh, you know, uh, if the winners come, obviously. <laughs> so well done to them. This is our sixth one. I uh, hope it goes stronger. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Samanga Kumalo. Sean Terry, a nice victory over here. We haven't seen much of you on the high felt. And normally you have like four or five runners a meeting, one here and there. Yeah, Jules. Yeah, you know, the going's been hard. And, you know, you don't really want to be racing on the outside uh, course at the vol. And uh, we've taken a little chance just sitting back and, and waiting for the the better courses and the better going and um, you know whether it'll pay or not we'll see in, in, in the long run. Well this filly really ran a, a good race today um, she you could see she certainly helped that first trip well she's improved from that first run under the belt today but a very impressive one. Yes I think she's a good filly um, you know she had to bounce and overcome that draw which must have taken quite a bit out of her and then she raced up handy the whole way and uh, you know there's quite a strong headwind and uh, I thought she might just need the run so so all things uh, considered I think she's done very very well and she will go on. Is she one of the graduates for the Empress Palace ready to run cup? Yes she is. Oh, so we'll be watching closely 1450 could be her game up to now. Yeah, listen, it's inside course, and as I said, she needed the run. Uh, she can also run given a chance, so I'm very pleased that she, she's won at the right time, and, and she certainly will go on. 
Semogen coming up in race four, Varaccio race five. What do you make of your runners? Um, look at Semogen, I think he'd be he'd be um, better on the outside course, but um, we couldn't crack a draw. So, uh, you know, we're taking our chance uh, on the inside course again. Obviously, he, dis he disappointed first time out on the inside course, but uh, we're hoping that he, he gets a lot closer. He's a quality horse, and you know, I'm just hoping he can he can uh, handle this tight course. And but Veraccio, I was a little bit worried the inside track because he's a type of horse that you've got to give a bit of a patient ride to. You're right, but having said that, he's run twice on the inside course, and I think he's mm. run well both yeah. times. At the same time, this headwind's going to give him a little bit of a help as well because uh, you know he'll be running on, and um, I think he will need it anyway. So I, I'm not I'm not confident in anything. He should run a decent race, and I'm happy to have bagged a winner. Well, congratulations, well done. Thank you. Well done to Chris. Always a great pleasure to, tra uh, to train for Chris and uh, his patience is um, un unbelievable and just makes my job very easy. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done to Sean Terry, Chris Van Nickirk, Samanga Kamalo. They all team up here with the 12 a rainy day. Congratulations. And of course to Summerhill Stud finishing first, second and third in our second race here at Turfentine this afternoon. It's now time to move on to the exotics here at Turfentine. First leg of the PA race three coming up shortly.